what's up guys? Today I'm going to interview Tommy about the news. Our first story, Japan has created the Privacy Visor. It blocks your face from the facial recognition software and other people's cameras. And it also blocks you from ever looking cool. I think it's a giant waste of money. If they're going to spend money inventing glasses like that, why not make an invisibility cloak so you can be invisible all the time? You know, I have an invisibility cloak. You do? Where did he go? Where did he go? I don't like to be alone. It's okay, I'm back. Oh, that's cool. The only way that those glasses would make more sense and be more Japanese is if you were penetrated by something when you wore them and then it was put on in like a vending machine. If you press a button on the glasses, tentacles come out. <laughs> Ew. Ew. But the thing is, nobody really wants privacy these days. Everybody overshares information now, you know? Oh yeah, I mean I have to like unfollow or unfriend my cousins on Facebook so that I don't know everything about their life. Like I know like my cousin's menstrual cycles now <laughs> and that's not something that anyone should know besides them. Actually I think more girls should post updates on their menstrual cycles on Facebook. It's like who to avoid, you know? Feeling period-y. <laughs> I'm actually coming out with some products to protect people's privacy. Okay, lay it on me. What do you got? I actually kind of like this. <laughs> Our second story, a woman has been fined $3,000 for posting a negative review online. She bought some trinkets from the site cleargear.com, never got them, so she wrote the review and apparently there's a clause hidden in the terms of sale that says you can't say anything bad about the company. This story made me so mad. <laughs> This was infuriating. You're like, Tommy, smash. I was reading it, and I broke my computer, and then I ordered a new one on cleargear.com, and it never came. This is just bullying at its core. $3,000 for a disparaging comment? That isn't even disparaging. It's true. We should be able to sue weathermen if they are, like, if they say something wrong about the weather. I wish I could sue people for making negative YouTube comments. Me too. <laughs> I'd be a millionaire. The worst part of this story is that this lady then wrote on this site called Ripoff Report and they said if you want to get this review off, you got to pay us $2,000. So everybody's motherfucking this lady. Everybody. Never trust a website with a typo in its name. And if you go to the front page right now, there's just this photo of a terrified kid. It's like he just found out about the $3,000 fine. Have you ever posted a negative review online? I once tried to yelp a Denny's, but uh, I gave it two stars and that was the highest rating it had ever received. I actually got a certificate from Denny's as a thank you. They put that up on the outside now. Two stars. Denny's, a two star Yelp establishment. Our last story, Lionsgate is thinking about making a Hunger Games theme park because nothing says fun like children murdering each other. This makes no sense to me at all. Where are the rides going to come from? And what are the, are you simulating the death of children in these rides? Like Maybe you'll get to ride Jennifer Lawrence. Well, okay, that would make it worth it. If, but then after a while, it would just get so gross if everybody was riding. A Jeff. lot of people throw up on that ride. <laughs> Maybe it would be fun if like, they offered free admission to anyone who's experienced a recent tragedy. <laughs> like it's like, yeah. did your dad just get hit by a train? Well, you got a free day at the Hunger Games theme park. You found out you have cancer? Hunger Games theme park. What about a Lord of the Rings theme park? I would do a whole Simpsons theme park before I would do a Hunger Games. You want Fifty Shades of Grey theme park. I'm dying for Fifty Shades of Grey, and I still really want that Titanic cruise to take off, but they keep insisting sinking an entire cruise ship would be a big waste of money. I want to work for the Hunger Games theme park and be the guy that lights girls' dresses on fire. <laughs> so I got kicked out of prom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess my dream job at the Hunger Games theme park would be uh, what? <laughs> who's the, who's the really <laughs> fat guy that rides around in the hover chair? <laughs> he just like try, and he uses like he drops presents off from the sky. <laughs> I want to be the That's Santa Claus. <laughs> That's right. Wait, I think I just read. <laughs> I think I just read a Christmas book. And I my you mom didn't read the Hunger Games. My you mom gave me the story of Christmas, and she put it in a Hunger Games cover because the Hunger Games was too mature. <laughs> Who's your favorite character in the Hunger Games? Rudolph. I like Dasher. I like to every. I'm a Dasher man. <laughs> Guys, subscribe to Badge of Shame. So, what do you think of my cool background? I love it. Gayest place in America is the headline on this paper. That's this place. This is the gayest place in America. <laughs> Anywhere you and I get together immediately becomes the gayest place in America. Subscribe! I love Bad of Shame. You, <laughs> you should come and look at it. It's 